What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we are watching some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Zare Felros, who hits legend in the Ultra League Halloween Cup. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, you guys know who Zare Felros is. Huge shout out to him, a fellow content creator, and also he now does coaching as well, so if you guys are looking to up your game, you guys can find all that information on his channel, which I'll link down in the description. All right, getting into game one, we have Tapu Fini on the lead versus Giratina Altered. So, Water Gun, Surf, going to be resisted here, but it's all about that Moon Blast damage. And honestly, the Water Gun damage is actually doing a lot. And considering this Giratina Altered also has Dragon Breath, Tapu Fini is in a very good situation right now. Shadow Sneak, not going to do a lot of damage, as they will be able to freely go for this Moon Blast overcharging as well, um, anticipating the potential Sack Swap. So, here comes a Moon Blast. That's a lot of damage right there. That is beautiful. Tapu Fini looking very strong now in the Ultra League Halloween Cup. So, they're just going to go ahead and let these charge moves go through and probably just fully farmed down. Oh, a simultaneous swap here. Giratina altered into Skunk Tank now, but Skunk Tank having access to Crunch could potentially flip this thing around. So we are going to see the Crunch land. That is, that's a decent amount of damage, but thankfully the Giratina altered here can go for Dragon Claws, which should chunk the uh, Skunk Tank down for a little bit of health, and then we might see a farm down with Drapion, maybe overloading a bit on energy. But let's see how this plays out. Giratina going to go ahead and go for the shield here, wanting to put more pressure on the Skunk Tank now as they do stop that next crunch, as they now have two Dragon Claws ready to go. So we might just see a shield here from Skunk Tank on the second one, because it's going to be enough damage. Damage, I think now to take it out as they do have two more ready to go completely flipping this around They could definitely get two shields right here or just take out the skunk tank And it looks like the skunk tank is just gonna go ahead and go down So I thought Giratina altered was gonna go down there But no it held on and they're gonna be able to farm down with shadow claw as well The final Pokemon is gonna be a Genesect So we do see a swap in now to Drapion going for crunches This is definitely gonna be getting those shields as crunch. It's gonna do a lot of damage in this matchup and Genesis oh they decided to let it go I think they know it's a good game Genesex only real win condition um, is to spam these charge moves and try to get shields but they're not going to get it Technoplast is not going to do enough damage right there still a lot though still a lot of damage but it's not going to be enough to take it out they still have two dragon claws on Giratina altered granted I think they'd only get one off considering the amount of HP and they do have um, somewhat near a surf here on the Tapu Fini. Yeah, it's going to be close to a surf. They're going to go ahead and shield and let's see if they can take this one. X Scissor. Now it's now the Techno Blast though was Ice, I believe. So it's going to be a close one. Are they going to swap? Nope. Oh man. Is this going to be enough damage? I don't think the Techno Blast will be. No, barely not enough. They decide. To, oh my gosh. One HP on both sides and the Shadow Claw takes it there. I came a lot closer than that game should have. Good game. All right. Moving to the next one, we got Tapu Fini versus Nidoqueen. Queen. Okay, so this is a unique situation you don't commonly see. Both Pokemon doing super effective damage to each other, but they're going to go ahead and swap out into Drapion as the Nidoqueen Queen is probably going to look to go for an Earth Power to try to get themselves Shield Advantage. But Drapion right here can easily put a lot of pressure down with the Crunches. The first one goes unshielded, but here comes the Mind Games, and they're not even going to play around. Zara is going to go ahead and throw up that Shield right away, and it was a Poison Fang. This is what's so deadly about Nidoqueen. Queen. Now we do see a Genesec swap in, and this might have been a mistake. I think if we saw that Nidoqueen stay in, they could have easily gone for another Earth Power. But Genesect right here is now going to be forced to shield. And this is going to really set up the sweep for Giratina Altered if they can get two shields right here from Genesect. As it's going to have to throw their Techno Blast before the next crunch can come through. And Drapion will decide to let it go. So if this is a shield bait... Which, it's a Magnet Bomb, still enough damage to take it out, but we will see Tapu Fini come in and farm down. Now, I think, just from looking, I think this is an Ice Techno Blast, I believe. Let's see what it's going to be. No, it's just going to be another Magnet Bomb right there. There could be Electric um, Techno Blast as well. There's a lot of different variants, but I was trying to look at the disc on the back, but Magnet Bomb makes sense. And we will see the um, Tapu Fini now go for the Surf here against Nidoqueen. Queen. This could force that second shield, which it does. And now we see Giratina Altered let loose right here as the Nidoqueen Queen is going to be throwing... Eh, it could be the Earth Power, but no, it's just going to be the Poison Fang debuff, hoping to improve the matchup in the back, which makes a lot of sense. 
applying that debuff here is going to allow Dragon Breath to now do quite a bit more damage than it normally would, especially since it is super effective. But we are facing off 1 to 0 shields, which means these Dragon Claws, which Giratina is able to get to quite quickly with the Shadow Claw fast move, is going to do enough damage where potentially even a farm down now from the Tapu Fini is going to make a lot more sense than shielding Giratina altered, which is exactly what Zare is going to do right here. They're going to go ahead and let it go through, come in with Tapu Fini and farm down and then look to go save that shield for the potential poison fang and look to go for the surf here against the Nidoqueen queen to close the game out but a boost there from giratina altered that is always deadly but tapu fini will be able to take it here with surf and that is going to be a good game very well played tapu fini really doing well at core breaking a lot of teams right now the surf damage the moon blast damage the bulk that it has really nice all right moving to the next one we have Tapu Fini on the lead versus Yveltal, the Bacon Burb, right here. And we will see Swap Out now into Alolan Muck, which is definitely tough because you don't have the best answers in the back, um, especially with no Aqua Tail there on Drapion. But they do get a shield, and they're going to go ahead and go into the Drapion now anyway, since they are all doing resisted damage here. Um, on both sides, Crunch is going to be a bit more spammy and could potentially apply that debuff. And especially since they got shields, they want to maintain switch advantage with the Tapu Fini and the Bacon Bird. So we are going to see the first charge move come through from Alolan Muck. Is it going to be Sludge Wave? It is going to be the Sludge Wave. That's a decent amount of damage right there, but seeing as Drapion is going to be able to spam crunches a lot quicker than the Alolan Muck can put out the Sludge Waves or Dark Pulses, I think this is going to be um, a maintained switch advantage situation where Drapion is probably going to have to give up a shield right here and then look to... Nope, they decided to let it go. Sludge Wave is going to go. Okay, so completely trusting in Giratina Altered now to farm down. Hopefully they can farm down with Shadow Claw, which they can. Now they do have an Ancient Power ready to go for the Yveltal, which we do see come back in. And this is going to be doing super effective damage. And Yveltal has some pretty strong moves right here that they need to watch out for. I think it does have also have access to Sludge Bomb, which is going to be deadly here for this combo of this team because Dark Pulse and Sludge Bomb. I could be wrong about Sludge Bomb, but I haven't seen this thing in a long time. I know it does have Dark Pulse, though. So they're going to go ahead and shield that up and look to go for two more Ancient Powers. And this, considering this season, Ancient Power got a damage boost. Um, it's actually going to do enough damage. And the Giratina just takes it down. Final Pokemon is going to be Nidoqueen. And that's a good game. Very well played. So well done there with Zerfelros for calling that. That the Ancient Power was the win condition. All right. So we see Amanda Buzz now on the lead so pretty positive matchup right here we do see a swap out into shadow drapion so they got to be very careful about the sludge bomb and they're going to go ahead and try to catch it on sludge bomb right here let's see if it was no it was just the crunch right there still both moves are resisted so catching that energy on their own drapion um, is the best call in these situations because you don't want to swap to giratina to try to catch the sludge bomb um, because if it was a crunch, it would have done super effective damage. And this might be the hardest thing that they have to face off against it on their team because it can kind of core break. Drapion can core break a lot of teams in both Great League and Ultra League. That's why it's regarded as one of the best safe swaps in the meta nowadays because of its coverage and typing. So we do see a couple more Aqua Tails come through right there. And they're going to go for the Sneaky Sludge Bomb. This does a bit more damage than Crunch. And let's see if it's going to be enough to actually take Switch advantage. Oh, barely not enough. It's going to be a farm down. And they might, yeah, they're going to go ahead and shield and commit to the Poison Sting farm down. This is so dangerous because they could get to another Aqua Tail. It's going to be close, but they get it right there, which is beautiful. And can they get to the Sludge Bomb? No, they cannot. So the uh, Tapu Fini is going to go ahead and come in. We do see the Nidoqueen now against Giratina altered. So that's looking to be a good game considering the Mandibuzz, unless it has Shadow Ball. The Manobuzz will typically have Aerial Lace, so it's probably not going to be enough damage output to take out Tapu Fini. Um, and if Giratina Altered can um, come out of here with a little bit of energy, those Ancient Powers are going to be really nice. They also no-shielded the Poison Fang right there, which is pretty huge, um, considering that the Nidoqueen Queen could have just gone straight for Earth Power. But we do see the first shield now go up on the opponent's side, hoping to apply a lot of pressure now with Earth Power. And this is the dangerous situation. They're going to go ahead and shield, and it is going to be the Earth Power. So that's a huge shield right there because that would have done a lot more damage, and they need to make sure Giratina comes out of here with energy. So let's see if they can do it. Here comes the next Dragon Claw. No shield right there from the Nidto Queen. We do see a swap out back into Mandibuzz, so the Tapu Fini is going to go ahead and come in. And this is where... 
we're going to find out if it's Shadow Ball. Mandibuzz can take this right here. It does a lot of neutral damage. And they do shield the correct charge move there as well. This is going to be dangerous. Is it going to be the Shadow Ball? If it's Aerial Ace, I think they still have a fighting chance. Oh, it is Aerial Ace. Okay, so they do have a fighting chance now. They got to get to this next Moonblast in time. But no, the next Aerial Ace is coming through. Can Tapu Fini hold on? I think it can. Oh, barely able to hold on right there. Gets to the Moonblast as well with one HP and a dream, but is this going to be enough to take out Mandibuzz? It's going to be extremely close. No, it is not enough. Giratina Altered is going to have to throw that Ancient Power right away. They're overloading a bit on energy. They go for the Ancient Power now. This should be enough damage to take out Mandibuzz, but does the Nidoqueen Queen have enough energy for a Earth Power? This is going to be extremely... No, it just gets farmed down right away. I forgot about how much health it had, but good game. That was so close. If that was a Shadow Ball Mandibuzz, I think it would have won. All right. We see Alolan Ninetales on the lead, so let's see if it's Charm. It is going to be Charm right there, so they're going to have to stay in with Tapu Fini because the Charm damage can still chunk Drapion and obviously does well against Giratina Alter. These Surfs could also get themselves Shield Advantage, which really plays well for Giratina Alter and Tapu Fini, or um, Drapion, I should say, not Tapu Fini, in the end game. But do you give up a Shield here? Yeah, they're going to go ahead and give up a Shield, stopping that Psy Shock because they want to apply a bit more pressure and we do see a swap out into Drapion, so they're going to go ahead and go for the Moonblast. Remember, Drapion is Poison Dark, so this is going to be neutral and quite a bit of neutral damage as they can now safely come into the mirror. And this is looking like a strong position for them because they can definitely come out of this matchup with a decent amount of of energy for that alone the nine tails so they're gonna go ahead and load up it's one-to-one -one shields right now as well but this drapion is spamming aqua tails or crunches i should say sorry um, the last one was spamming Aqua Tails, and they're going to go for the Sneaky Sludge Bomb. Typically, most people go for Crunch in this situation, but that Sludge Bomb just does that extra oomph of damage where now you can farm down and honestly... Uh, yeah, they're going to go ahead and shield. There's so much energy here on Shadow Drapion that they really need to save it and build it up because having two Sludge Bombs ready to go for Alolan Ninetales is huge. And we do see a Krug... Oh, it's a Krugodile! Wait, what was it? Hold on, I, I might have read that wrong. No, it was a Crocodile in the back, so that is why they swapped out because Crunch and Sludge Bomb are resistant, and Crocodile might just be able to sweep right here. Thankfully, Giratina Altered can still do neutral damage with Dragon Claw, so that was a good call on them to swap out of Drapion instead of staying in because now they have energy still for Alolan Ninetales as the Crunch comes through and does a ton of super effective damage. We see Alolan Ninetales come in, and they're going to go ahead and go for the Ancient Power now for super effective damage, but is it going to be enough? I think I think Alolan Ninetales can hang on, but they do get a shield and a boost right there at the last second. So this is going to be such a close game. They have to land the Sludge Bomb because Crunches, I don't think is going to be enough. Yeah, they go for the Sludge Bomb, but they lose CMP tie. Oh no. Is this Weather Ball going to be enough damage to take out Drapion? Yeah, it goes down. That is so unfortunate losing CMP tie right there as the Alolan Ninetales takes it. What a cool team on the opponent's side. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. We got Tapu Fini versus Gavantula now on the lead. Tough lead loss right here. And even tougher having to swap into it when it does have access to lunge. So Gavantula core breaking Drapion and Tapu Fini right now. But we do see the crunch come out right away. Not even messing around trying to get a shield there from Gavantula. And they honestly might have another answer in the back for Tapu Fini considering there's a Gavantula on the lead. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a Nidoqueen or a Drapion. Probably more, I'd lean more towards Drapion in the back for better coverage to Giratina Altered. But those lunges, oh my goodness. And the Volt Switch damage is so much. Yeah, the Gavantula goes down, but they did get two shields. So this is still a winning situation here for Zaire Felrose if they can play it correctly. And we do see a swap out into Mandibuzz. So that Mandibuzz is now switch locked, which is a huge situation here for Tapu Fini to come in and go for a Moonblast as the Ancient Power does land. So they're going to go ahead and swap into that Tapu Fini now catching the charge move here of Aerial Ace. But now, this is looking like a decent situ setup for them because if there is, in fact, if this is the hardest counter to Giratina Altered, I don't think it's going to be. I still think there's probably a Drapion in the back. Granted, I think Drapion would have made a better safe swap in that situation instead of Mandibuzz because this is a lot more of a one-sided matchup for Tapu Fini. 
uh, unless Go Battle Lag comes in. But they can go for a Moonblast now and have a little bit of extra energy where they could potentially get to a Surf now versus Gavantula. Um, but I'm not sure how much energy the Gavantula does have. I wasn't really keeping track right there. Okay, it has a charge move ready to go. <laughs> so they're going to go ahead and shield. That's fine. It's hard to keep track of energy when you're shout casting, by the way. Um, so they're going to go ahead and now swap back out into Giratina Altar to catch this next charge move because both aren't going to do that much damage, saving the Tapu Fini because there could be another Dark in the back. No, it's going to be a Giratina Altered, so they're getting, they can go ahead and go straight for Dragon Claws right here. And already ahead with two charge moves, and they still have one shield. I think that's going to be a good game because they can just go for the back-to-back -back now. And I think Evangela now is pretty much out of energy, so there's not much it's going to be able to do right away when it does come back in. But this is going to be such a close one. They do get to the third one in time. This is going to get Giratina altered extremely low, but the opponent is going to have to throw the charge move because I don't think they can farm down. Oh, it's so close. They did farm down right there. And now they're going to be forced to... Sh no, they're going to go ahead and risk it and let it go through. It is going to be the Dragon Claw, which is actually resisted. So they can farm down. Surprised that wasn't Ancient Power. And they should be able to get to... Oh my goodness, they throw the Surf at the last second, hoping they could get to the Moon Blast, but that Volt Switch, had it gone through, would have been the end of the game, and Surf takes it right there. So good recovery from Zer Felros, considering the Gavantula on the lead was very tough for them, and able to hit Legend. Huge congrats, Zer, on um, hitting Legend with this team. Again, Zer's fellow content creator and does do coaching as well. If you guys want to go up your game with him, be sure to go check out his channel. I'll have a link down in the description. You guys can find his coaching program there as well, probably in the descriptions of his videos. But shout out to Zer. This was a really cool team. Tapu Fini, Giratina Altered, and Shadow Drapion. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.